Okay. <clears throat> For breakfast today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be eating some greens. I'm trying to go a healthier route. I'm trying to leave Louisiana fried chicken alone, gridiron pizza, they barbecue. They got a barbecue sub with bacon in it, cheese, pineapple. Oof. The bread is a uh, the bread alone to that sub is delicious. But I'm trying to go on a uh, this type of a little diet, and I got some. I still got some more pears in my bag over there, and I'm gonna get some more pears this week. Work. But we have a three day weekend, and today marks day number one. I did um kind of like chilled out yesterday. Didn't really do much. I'm trying to pop my nails off because I got to redo the whole thing. The Clack Sisters will be back and it will be fresh for tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to the skating rinks. And I'm looking at the sky. Let me see if y'all can see. This. Can y'all see the way the sky looks over there? Can y'all see how the sky looks over here? Look at those clouds. I don't know if it's going to storm again. I don't know if it's going to start getting cooler. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do. But I see those clouds moving this way. I need it to be sunny today. I need it to be nice. I need it to be hot. Summer is not going to be over until September 22nd. So we got like, what, 20 more days of summer. And I'm like, okay. So... I just finally got one of my outfits from Timu this week. And so you just going to do that? I'm trying to go to the skating rink tomorrow. But I may not be able to wear what I want to wear. Because I have to dress accordingly to the weather. I need to find a new fanny pack. That's what I think I might do today is find a new fanny pack. I'm definitely going to go skating tomorrow. And I should go regardless of the weather. Because I've been waiting to break my skatings at that rink. Something about them clouds. I don't like. I feel like they're talking about me. And then when I come into the room, they be quiet. Like, they don't want me to have fun at the skate rink tomorrow. I actually should go today just to get it out the way. Not that I ever want to rush fun or having fun. Um, I don't know. I wanted to put more ice in my Freddy Krueger mug. Look, at, look how much I love Freddy Krueger. And I'm going to find some more stuff on Amazon and on different websites with Freddy Krueger on it because I think I may revamp Freddy Krueger again for Halloween. So I may need to get another shirt. But then again, I may not. I don't even know what day Halloween falls on. We might as well get ready for Halloween. I'm going to see if the skating rink is open today. If it's open, I'm leaving here at about 1.30. But only thing is, I ain't trying to go with these bald-headed nails. Look at Tell him some. He likes to party. Now with them snagging two bald headed nails and jacked up cuticles. Cuticles. I keep wanting to say cuticle. I'm going to keep this bowl in here because later on, I think I might get me a salad. I know I need protein, but um, I got a couple more pears over there I can eat. I'm trying to take a healthier route, you guys. I'm trying to flush out. And I need to find a good detox supplement. That's going to help me flush all of the impurities out. I'm going to end my water intake. 
I have to stop drinking artificial fruit juices, sodas, even though I'm a Pepsi head ass. Eh, I love me some Pepsi. Pepsi is in this. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Eventually, eventually I'll do better. <laughs> but, but I'm the type of person that I don't want to have to learn the hard way. When you know better, like since I know better, I know what I need to do because diabetes run on both sides of my family. I have to make sure. And I, then I was told by the doctor I was pre-diabetic. So if I keep going this route, it, it's like me eating these greens that taste like ground. And this... I don't go together. I'm supposed to be having water with this. So in the morning times, what I'm going to start doing is making me some tea with no sugar. So I'm going to do like a turmeric ginger tea. And I'm going to do teas like that helps with immune system and like throat support and all that other stuff. Because it's going to start getting like to those, to those cold, cold winter days where sick season is coming up. Where if the sickest I've ever been was last November. No, I had a headache, sore throat, like some kind of chest cold thing, stuffy nose, body aches from head to toe. All at once. I got rid of that throat ache though, and it was it, I was able to heal everything, everything else. But my nose kept running, and I had balled up pieces of tissue all on my bed. <laughs> but I wasn't here though. My sister was sick. My nephews were sick. I think my brother-in-law got sick a little bit. Um, but when you have that much people, if you live with that much people, everybody's pretty much around each other and everybody will most likely get sick. But I think since I'm here and I'm mostly by myself in this room, I think I can kind of like, I think it won't be such a problem. So when I get paid again, I'm going straight to Walmart and I'm going to find me some teas. I'm going to get me some more fruits. I'm going to try to go, try my best to go the natural route with um, medicines. Like get some essential oils and rub some eucalyptus and mint. They have things that you can like. You take a mask, right? You get your essential oils. And if anybody know who Monique Samuels is from, what was she, Real Housewife of Potomac? And her husband is Chris Samuels, that football player. They fine. I'm sorry, both of them. Um, I think if I'm not mistaken, she has a company where she... um can like you can kind of like mix your oils to like if you're sick like she don't give her children and i hope i'm not gonna get in trouble for this she don't give her children medicine she gives her children the oil okay that natural stuff so and then my sister she bought some essential oils and you you know how we had to wear masks for the pandemic covid coronavirus times whatever you rub whatever essential oils they tell you to mix together that will get rid of a headache or that will get rid of a cold or that will get rid of a whatever. And you put it on the mask and you're breathing all that in and all the stuff may come out. So of your like your nose or whatever. I did that once and I had a bad cold. So I think I'm going to try to do something like that to get rid of my stuffy nose. Now I'm a cough drop eating food though. I ain't going to say I ain't going to get no cough drops. I think I might still get cough drops, but I want to go more of a natural route get some immune system stuff, some detox stuff, um, stuff so I can like, you know, that make my bowels work regularly. I gotta start eating properly. So this weekend, no junk food. I have a salad, but it's in my lunch bag at work and I'm gonna eat that when I go to work back to work on Tuesday. It's the avocado ranch salad. And it's going to be bomb. But I'm going to have to buy me a little bowl. And I'm going to have to leave that container at work. So that way I'll have something. Like if I get a salad and take it to work, I'll have something to eat my salad in. Um, 
with these. I took a little Laurie season salt, a little, and I put it in my hand, and I went like this. And I mean, I took a little bit. It still tastes like ground, but that's okay. I think the more natural the food, the food tastes a lot like earth. I feel like I'm getting more natural stuff. Now, I don't want rock bits and mud all up in my food. But, like, pretty much when you grow your own food, you know you're getting the real deal, holy field. You know you're getting the real stuff with no added preservatives, no fat, no sugars, no salts. It's just that. When I move <clears throat> in the future, future into my three-bedroom home, oh, I'm going to have a garden with corn right here. I'm going to have tomatoes. I'm going to try to see if I can do something with potatoes or whatever. But I'm a corn head. I'm a very corny person. I love corn. Corn. I can eat a big bowl of white corn right now. I love corn. And it's roughage. And I'm not trying to be gross. For anybody who watches this, hopefully you're not eating and hopefully you don't get grossed out too easily. But when people say, I don't know why you like corn. It's roughage, and it, what it does is it scrapes the extra stuff off your colon. I'm, I'm corn deprived right now, but that avocado salad has corn in it. When you get cob salads, they have the black beans with the corn. I can do rice, black beans, corn. That's it. So when I move into my new apartment, it's going to be a lot of meals like that. And I was thinking of doing Blue Apron, trying to see if I can figure out some meals with that, and it will kind of teach me how to cook more. I want to try to ease into um, making smoothies. Like, I can drink a cup of celery juice right now. I can drink a cup of carrot juice. Carrots be really sweet, though. I can do that right now. So, I do all this walks. If you follow me on Instagram, at It's Roche Ball, y'all. You see that I've been posting my steps. Because I have a step tracker on my phone. I've been posting them. But I have to make sure the eating goes along. The proper eating goes along with all the steps I'm trying to take. Because I'm trying to get down to 140 pounds. Right now, I think I'm still in the 160s. I'm still trying to lose this belly, though. Y'all, that was a whole full bowl of corn. I mean, of greens. And I have to be careful when I start buying food from a can because you just may not know what you may be putting in. Like this, these greens, oh, came from a can. And I want to make sure that, you know, but it still tastes like ground. Collard greens are my favorite. My favorite. But I still got to be careful though. I'm trying to take a healthier route. But I don't want to starve myself. Because when I was watching What the Health. I think it was back in 2017. That scared me. That's why I want to leave bacon alone. Ham. If we have any of that for Christmas or for Thanksgiving. You can miss me on it. I'll just eat this turkey. Um, But... Ham, like any kind of pork, red meat, I gotta leave alone. Some chickens, but I'm not getting rid of chicken and fish completely, no. I gotta have something. I like salmon. I can do like a baked salmon with like, I don't like lemon juice on my um seafood. I don't, I don't know why people like lemon on it. I don't know, that's just me. I don't like it. Okay? Um, But I can do like a... I'm going to marinate it for a couple of hours before I cook it. Then I can do some steamed vegetables with that. And that will be dinner. No asparagus. Or I can do asparagus sometimes, but no mashed potatoes. No extra other meats with it. Nah, just if I'm going to do a meat, I'm going to do like a salmon or stuff like that. Catfish, no. I'm more of a red. My favorite fish is red snapper. My dad make used to make some good red snapper and ever since then it's been my favorite 
I had tilapia before. I also like shrimp tempura. But some of that stuff is like really preservative type things. And I want to make my own jelly, like my sister, um, from the Mal One Show. I think the YouTube channel is called Rob and Chris now. I think, I don't know. But she makes her own jelly, my sister. And she actually has the jars, like little bitty jars she get. And she makes her own jelly. So, why talk about a change? Just do it. I know it's hard. Sometimes you need a partner to help you keep going. Sometimes you just don't have the willpower and you just don't feel like... Like I said, I had to do this little by little. I have to wing off certain things little by little. Until I'm able to just wing off of them cold turkey. And that's the only way I was able to do it. I didn't totally start off like the like I said. Back to what I was saying. Me and my ex-boyfriend at the time. Well, he's still an ex. We were watching What the Health. We jumped on that plant-based diet the next week. Like cold turkey. Dropped everything. Started eating greens. Black beans. Rice. No other. No butter. No sugar. No salt. Nothing. And I made myself very sick. Didn't know what I was doing. Saw What the Health. Got scared. And decided to jump on something. You know, I don't even drink milk because of, you know, what's in it. And I got to watch out for almond milk, too, because I started drinking almond milk with my cereals. And I got used to drinking almond milk, but I don't even know what's in it. I love my braids. But by the way, um, <clears throat> but yes, y'all. So I'm watching out for what I'm eating because, y'all, what you, especially if you're young, you don't want to deal with all these body aches and different pains with this and you have to keep going to the doc doctor because your kidneys are failing and your heart is failing and all that. If you take care of yourself when you're at a young age, and I'm not saying you can't do it at an older age, it works. But at the same time, it's like if you don't start putting taking the proper vitamins and all that stuff at a younger age now, you're going to have all these problems when you get older. That's what my mama taught me. You are. You're going to have all these problems. That's why... As much as I love soda, as much as I love candy, as much as I love a ding dong cupcake and Cheez Its and and hot Cheetos and and Louisiana fried chicken and catfish and and I go to Gridiron Pizza and I like pizza with pineapples by the way, but I have to leave that stuff alone. Bread, some of that stuff turn into sugar. I used to think if I eat a lot of sugar, let me hurry eat something with a lot of salt in it so I can balance it out. No, all you're doing is adding that stuff on top of each other and it's going to make you sick. And it could be a reason why I'm not regular, meaning like as far as number two, you know, not trying to be gross. Because I have to start eating certain things so that way my bowels can start working properly. Like I said, I have <clears throat> with all the walking and moving around I do at work, my eating has to go along with it. I can't say, well, I walk so I can have this hamburger with extra, extra, extra cheese. So, that ain't even cheese. Next, I am thinking about trying vegan food. I'm not opposed to it at all. I'm not. And even the stuff that's cooked here, like I can't have menudo that's pork. You know, it's, it's just fat and it's, you know, it's good, but I can't have it. I can't do chitlins anymore as much as I love chitlins over some rice. And you can see the chitlin juice at the bottom and the rice grains are drowning in chitlin juice. I can't have that stuff no more. I haven't had chitlins in years, actually. But, yeah, you guys, I just thought I'd come over here and do this little greens mukbang. Not even nothing special. My mukbangs are going to get better. I'm going to start doing mukbangs on here. But it's only going to be healthy stuff. I can't come on here and stuff my face with a bunch of wobble grill. Tell us something. Uh, you know. Even though I tried the brown rice with the tofu. It's good. I have wobble grill. But it's too much tofu. Too much. So I had to move some of that out the way and just eat the brown rice by itself. But um, like I said. 
it starts with us. It starts with us. I mean, we should be able to be strong enough and knowing what we have to do with our bodies to become healthier. Even if we're around people who eat junk food and all that, we should be able to say, you know what, I'm going to eat these greens. As good as those chili cheese fries with pastrami on it, taste, smell, and taste good, I got to eat this. Because I want to be healthy for myself, my future kids, and just for my life, period. How am I going to run around and chase my future kids in the backyard and at the parks and stuff and, and run and play racing games with them and even dive on the floor and being fun and kitty with them if I'm always tired from bad eating habits? I want a very healthy, active family. And it starts with me. It really does. I got to get healthy now. So when it's time for me to meet my husband and we have kids and I carry those kids, ain't going to be no extra problems with my pregnancy. You know? You can't blame other people for being unhealthy. If a certain sickness or illness or disease run on both sides of your family, right? Being told, I went to the doctor, being told, congratulations. No, she said, keep up the good work. You're no longer pre-diabetic. Very good. And I was like, oh, thank you. And I was like, I couldn't get past pre-diabetic. Even though she said I was no longer pre-diabetic, I still couldn't get past pre-diabetic I was pre-diabetic that's 2.5 seconds away from being a diabetic my eating habits were shit as good as food smells like last night my roommate made some rice with some orange chicken I can't eat that no more I can't eat Chinese food no more. I gotta start making a good choice. I gotta start making a choice for me so I can live. That's what all of this is for. Not to be healthy, but I can live. If I'm acting right, and it's more than just what we put in our bodies, if we if our mind is right, we'll see right, we'll smell right, we'll hear right, we'll taste right, we'll speak the speak health and just be healthy all the way around. It's a mind, body, and soul thing. It's not just a body thing. Oh, I gotta be healthy. Oh, I got some cucumbers with the crust cut off. Oh, I can go for a bowl of cucumbers right now. I can eat that plain. Nothing. No tahini, no lemon, no nothing. I don't like all that on my vegetables anyway. Let me get back on track. But anyway, you guys, I just thought I'd come over here, share that little bit with y'all, let y'all know that I am starting this health journey. And um, I've, all, I've, I've been started, but I just, you know, fell off. And one thing that, oh, these clouds are stupid. Yeah, go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Go rain over there. Go rain in San Bernardino or somewhere. Go rain in Alcapulco or something. Go rain in Vegas or something. Don't rain over here. But anyway, one thing that I heard a rapper say, who was also on a health journey, he said on Instagram, and if you mess up, don't say, oh, I got to start all over. Just pick up from where you left off. If you eat a piece of chicken, you already know what you got to do to work all that off. It's not going to kill you. It doesn't mean you're a failure because you had a cheat day instead of that cheat meal. And even my cheat meal, even for me, I'm just saying for me. For me, when I start doing cheat meals, it's not going to be all this chicken, all this greasy and fatty foods. I may get Subway with maybe some baked glaze or something. You know, and it's not going to be a foot long. It's going to be just a six inch. <laughs> I don't know my math, but anyway. And, you know, you don't have to just be gluttony. Like, oh, it's my cheat. I haven't had, oh, I'm, a, you know, I've been going on this diet for so long. Let me go ahead and do my, mm. you know, you don't have to go crazy when it's time for you to have your cheat meal is what I'm trying to say. So, um, but like I said, it takes time. Gradually ease into it. If you're not a cold turkey person, gradually ease into it. If you can't walk around a block 50 million times, just walk slowly once. And if that's it, 
that's it until you gradually can walk around twice until you can gradually walk faster you know it's a marathon not a sprint this is your body you know you don't want to abuse it especially if you just get off of an injury or if you just haven't really been used to doing all these things you don't want to just jump into something cold turkey like i heard a wrestler say i haven't been if you haven't been in the gym for a while don't start going to the gym lifting all crazy and being all you know, Popeye-ish and doing all kind of stuff. You got to gradually ease into it. Even if your first day back at the gym is just going on treadmills or the elliptical and that's it. And the next day, treadmills or elliptical. And then you work on, you know, maybe the ropes or something. Or you do, you ease into it. You know, I'm not saying you can't do it. You can do whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you're used to doing. This is That's your life. But um, I'm going to gradually ease into you know, health, you know. And also, I got to start putting that black Jamaican castor oil back on my edges. You know, wash all this edge control off and black edge control off and then start really, really taking care of myself. Leave my hair braided, no more perms, no more all these bad chemicals, even with soaps, even with um like Zest 40 Clean, all that stuff. I don't got a problem with that soap. I had a couple of bars of Irish Spring that I'm going to use for the hard times. But y'all, I got to do something. I can't just say, I'm going to be healthy and not doing nothing with it. You know? Yeah, I'm walking, but that's it. I'm not doing no other exercising because five days a week, I do a lot as a custodian. Lifting boxes. Lifting things into trash cans. Okay? All the walking. Standing up on ladders reaching up wiping things all that is exercise so if i don't do a couple of push-ups or you know jumping jacks when i go home you know i don't beat myself up about it so i just thought i'd share that y'all hope y'all like this video i hope you guys are liking and commenting and subscribing i do appreciate every one of the comments that i've gotten thank y'all so much for joining this rule shenanigans and rule shenanigans how do y'all feel about being called Rose Shenanigans, by the way? I like it. I'm mean, kind of stuck, but um, yeah. But anyway, you guys, let me go ahead and start this day. And I just want to say, y'all pray for me. I'm going to pray for y'all, and we're going to pray for each other, okay? See y'all in the next video.